Hello and warm welcome on my YouTube channel. It is August 5th, 2024, Monday afternoon, and you are listening to the Khan Baba. Welcome everybody, wherever you're tuned in from and, we love you and we're glad you're here. Let's start today information. Vietnam's Monetary Authority reiterated its plan to keep selling dollars to some banks as a way of intervening in the foreign exchange market to support the local currency, which has fallen to a record low. The State Bank of Vietnam said it will manage the exchange rate flexibly and in accordance with market developments through monetary policy tools and with the sale of dollars, according to a statement on the regulator's website. The Vietnamese dong fell to a record low of 25,470 per dollar this week and has lost nearly 5% in 2024. The central bank last month sold dollars at the intervening price of 25,450 dong per dollar. The regulator also raised the reverse repurchase rate to 4.5% this week delivering its second quarter point hike in the past month, in moves seen as efforts to stabilize the dong. The central bank said the foreign exchange market is under pressure from unpredictable fluctuations, globally, combined with domestic challenges and difficulties. Still, it expects the supply of dollars to increase due to an export recovery, it added. The likelihood that the U.S. Federal Reserve may cut interest rates by year-end will also reduce devaluation pressures on the dong, according to the statement, which cited monetary policy head Pham Kai Kuang. Kuang also ruled out recent market speculation about possible changes in the central bank's exchange rate policy and urged caution when dealing with rumors. Vietnam's month-on-month -month growth rate of manufacturing output in July was second highest on record, behind only March 2011, according to data tracker S&P Global. A further substantial rise in new orders led manufacturers to ramp up production, with the rate of growth quickening to a near record high, the company said in its latest report on Vietnam's manufacturing. The country's purchasing managers index in July was at 54.7 unchanged from June, and the last time growth was faster was in November 2018. A PMI of above 50 indicates an expansion in manufacturing purchase compared to the previous month. New orders increased for the fourth month running in July, with the rate of expansion only slightly slower than the near record posted in June. S&P linked this to stronger market demand and an increase in customer numbers. New export orders also rose, but some firms reported that export demand had been hampered by high shipping costs. To fulfill a surge in demand, firms needed to dip into existing stockpiles to help meet stocks of finished goods were depleted to the second largest degree on record. Behind only that seen in February 2014. Thank you and take care.